This is the Catholic Daily Journal for Monday, February the 18th, 2019. Today is the feast day of St. Geltrude Comensoli, who is the patroness of those who are custodians of the relics of the saints. She was Italian and joined the Sisters of Charity in 1862, but she became seriously and chronically ill and the sisters weren't able to care for her. Because she was still in temporary vows, she left the convent and became the housekeeper of the local parish priest, Father Rota. When he was moved along to another assignment, she got work with the local countess. In 1878, she took a private vow of chastity and became what we would now call a consecrated virgin. She kept her job as a housekeeper for the countess and took up the work of educating local children. After living this life of service, solitude, and deep prayer for a couple of years, Geltrude had a sit-down with a visiting bishop who encouraged her to found a religious house of her own. In 1880, the Countess took a trip to Rome and brought Geltrude along, and she managed to finagle an audience with Pope Leo XIII, and he encouraged her to found her own religious house so long as she would take up a special effort to help the young women working in the local factories in the hometown of Bergamo. On December the 15th, 1882, Geltrude, together with two of her friends, began the congregation of the Sacramentine Sisters of Bergamo. And their main charism was adoration of the Blessed Sacrament and, of course, the care for the young, er young children, young women of the area. Two years later, she officially took the name Sister Geltrude of the Blessed Sacrament. She died today in 1903, and 25 years to the day later, her canonization process was begun. Pope Benedict canonized her in April of 2009. Today in 1930, in Flagstaff, Arizona, Clyde Tombo, an uncredentialed, undegreed son of Illinois farmers, in his second year working as a junior researcher for the Lowell Observatory, compared two photos out of thousands taken by the 13-inch astrograph and identified the first trans-Neptunian planet, which was later named Pluto. Two years later, Tombo went off to get those pesky college degrees, and he would go on to discover hundreds of asteroids in his life and be considered one of the best two or three direct vision astronomers in modern history. In 2006, horrible and probably ill-hygienic scientists demoted Pluto from being a full-fledged planet that we know it is to a dwarf planet. Mr. Dulé Hill speaks for all of us, I think, when he says, that's messed up. Finally, today is the birthday in 1906 of Dr. Hans Friedrich Karl Asperger. He was born in Vienna, Austria, and raised on a small farm outside of the city. As a young man, he joined the wandering scholars of the Bundnoland, which he said later, I was molded by the spirit of the German youth movement, which was one of the noblest blossoms of the German spirit. He was a devoted Catholic and an accomplished pediatrician. He focused his practice and research on early childhood development, especially mental disorders. He wrote extensively in much of the modern research and progress being made in what are now called the autistic spectrum disorders relies upon his early efforts. Indeed, the modern diagnosis bears his name. Sadly, much of his legacy has been tarnished by his connection with the rise of the Nazis. Of course, it's basically impossible to understand whether or not he freely cooperated with them or if he was forced to do so. Still, some of his patients were sent to the children's euthanizing camps, and that remains a tragedy. Dr. Asperger's work is now being put to use for good, and many nations celebrate today as International Asperger's or Asperger's Day. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.